It's the one day of year that we get to pay tribute to all the public land we enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Steve Human. Today is National Public Lands Day and we're here with Steve Jackson, the head of the Utah Four Wheel Drive Association and we're going to be doing some amazing cleanups today. Now, Steve, tell us a little bit about Public Lands Day. National Public Lands Day is an opportunity for uh, users to get out and give back to the lands that we uh, enjoy all year round. It's an opportunity to spend one day uh, working with land managers such as the Forest Service like today to uh, participate in service projects such as cleanups, fence build, trail maintenance, and other types of projects. Well, Steve, actually, it's, it's efforts of clubs like the Four-Wheel Drive Association on public lands that actually keeps the trails open, is it not? We like to say we're filling the management gap, helping to supplement the work that the Forest Service is doing through volunteer efforts to keep these motorized trails open and accessible for users throughout the year. Now, why is that important? I mean, you think that the Forest Service would be able to cover it themselves, but that's not the case. That's not the case. Due to budgets and all kinds of different uh, factors, it's really hard for the Forest Service to be out here on the ground all the time uh, doing the types of things that need to be done. We have a great time coming out here. We do a lot of service projects throughout the year, and this is just a special day where we can devote fully to doing service projects. Well, we're going to take you around National Public Lands Day. We're going to show you what the clubs do, what the Forest Service is doing, and we're actually going to help out a little bit too. But right now we've got to go to our travel adventure. Now, we've had Chris Brimhall on the show before. He is the ATV Explorer of ATV Explorers. He's taken us from St. George to, to Salt Lake. Yeah, he completed the uh, five-mile pass to St. George, and then his second one was St. George over to Kanab. And then he also, this week, is taking us on another of his grand adventures. So let's find out where in the world is Chris Brimhall. <laughs> 